lockpicking dev here. I'm on Mount St. Helens and I brought myself a pack lock UCS2A. It has six pins, it has full security pins, and it is beautiful. Look at that. When I get home, I'll show it off a little bit more when I gut it. I don't know if you can see it too well, but back here is Mount Hood. Let's see if you can get this open real quick. Two, there's click out of one. Out of three. Go on the very back. Six is stiff. Oh, and there's five. There's our open. There we are. Let's pick you up and show you around. Or first. Here's a key. Yeah, not too bad. That's our bedding. Give me a second to stand up here. Yeah, down that way. Smell the hood. Over here is Mount Adams. And yeah, here's the rest of Mount St. Helens up here. That's not quite the summit there. It's further up. We're turning back. I'm not exactly feeling the best. We already had a little scare too. All the folks coming up. Yes, a nice blue day. Alright everyone. Be home soon to get this for you. You gotta go back down all of this. So maybe I won't be home so soon. Alright, I'm back home. Now let's get this gutted. As I mentioned in the video, I wasn't feeling the best. And let me tell you, that was the worst altitude sickness I have felt yet. I had a headache. I was nauseous. I couldn't eat anything. And at, by the end of the hike, I was bambing my legs. It was just, it was not good. One thing I like about this core is, ooh, almost reset it there. I'll grab the, or about the cylinder, is the screw they have here. So... This is one of those with the screw retain, retaining cores right here. So you have to unscrew the screw, the cylinder to release the core. So I can take that out. And I like this because it's the first one I've encountered, I believe, where you just unscrew it as opposed to there being a pin right there. So what we want to do next is, because it does have that uh, groove going along the back of right here, this part of the core from here to here in the back. We have to turn this more like that to avoid that groove when pulling the plug out. So here we go. There we go. Set that there. See, that's the groove. It's one, two, three. Four, five, six, all standard key pins. And on the top, we have one, just kind of sitting there, two popped out. There we go, there's two, one, three. Our springs. Here's four, five, six. This way. 
there it goes. And six. I believe that was. I could have just mixed one and six up. I didn't pay attention there. But here we are. It's a nice pinning in here. Uh, fitting wasn't too bad. But you can see a serrated spool, spool, serrated, serrated spool. Serrated to have uh, decent, decent serrations in them compared to American locks, I believe. Yeah, nice little spools in there. Six pins. This is the pack lock UCS 2A. And that was Mount St. Helens. Turns out, uh, when we looked at the map, when we got down, we were about less than two miles away from the summit and less than uh, 1,200 foot gain or so less. So that's vertical distance of climbing left. We were so close. Fortunately, altitude sickness got to me. It is what it is. We're going to get it next time. And hopefully, we'll have another nice padlock to pick up top and actually get a view into the crater. Alright everyone, thanks for watching.